Our last exhibition this year was Op Era, and it's the U.S. premiere of a Brazilian piece, the first time that these artists have shown outside of Brazil. They're a very interesting group of researchers. It's um, two women, Rajani Catone and Daniela Kutchat, working in Sao Paulo at two separate universities. And they're really interested in asking the question, how can we illustrate very complex scientific and mathematical concepts, such as the fourth dimension? Opiera Sonic Dimension is an interactive and immersive installation designed to act as a musical box. The idea is, imagine if you enter a room, and in this room, the walls are filled with strings of lights. These strings, they can be touched and produce sound. Also, if you talk in the environment, the strings move, and by moving, you see the sound you are producing. When you touch the strings, the difference is that you have to feel like you are inside of an instrument, and very tiny, you see how the reverberation of the string produces the other strings that are next to it to move. Sonic dimension really asks the question, what if we had the physical receptors to see sound waves vibrate um, visually? and it's a large virtual music box that allows you to interact it with it in two different ways. In one, you see these 300 strings um, projected around you, and they're, they're virtual strings. They're really nothing but light. The strings will vibrate sympathetically with the natural tone of whatever sound they hear. So it responds to the sounds of your heels on the floor, or the tone of your voice, or if you play a musical instrument in, into it, it will play back to you. It won't give you sound back. What it does is, is um, mimic what it hears in a visual format for you. So it's actually a very, very beautiful piece. In our project, you have to follow a logic. And this logic is a very strict logic. So this time, uh, the big challenge was to translate the algorithms uh, of strings into sounds and vice versa. The, the idea is to make you uh, perceive that, okay, you can't recognize an instrument there, but you recognize that it is a sound-producing thing let's say, or environment, and that you can produce sounds and you can play with that. Somebody can come in and can sing, or somebody can come in and can play an instrument, and then the, the strings, they are going to react to that. So people are going to see this relationship directly. So we, we really, we, we tried to uh, create a relationship, but not to mimic something people already know, like an instrument or something. Because the sounds, they are very strange, they are sine waves we produced inside the computer with no composer. The only composer was the logic behind the project. 